Hey, how's it going? This is Safe Patel, and uh, I'm here in uh, Gadetha, right? Gadetha? Yes. Gadetha. Uh, with uh, this gentleman here, one of the youngest uh, owners of uh, Katia Way Horse, Sartaj. 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 Uh, what's your name, sir? Yashpal Singh Jadia. Yashpal Singh Jadia. Alright, what can you tell me about your horse, sir? Uh, actually, I bought it from a place where he was not properly taken care, uh -huh. and uh, was just according to the knowledge of the, what do you say, uh, professionals and I didn't know about horses, mainly Kachiwari. I found that he is the best amongst each and every Kachiwari I saw. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, so I was just flat. I and Devraj Bhai both went to see him and uh, it was just like, oh, such a beautiful thing hidden in such the worst place. I talked to the owner, placeholder, then we feel about uh, I gave a high price. Mm -hmm. He was in greed of money and I just bought him. Good, he's good. With, he's with me since uh, maybe six to seven months. Good. Not right. a long time. Right. He's probably nine years old. Right. So when I came here yesterday, yes. or, you know, the way I saw him, he looked furious. Yes. He looks angry. He looks angry. And I talked to him and uh, he told me this is his uh, temperament and all that. Sure. But what when we rode him today, you saw yes. how nice he was. Yes, yes, obviously. We rode him bitless. Yes, yes. And you did too. Yes. And there was this you this was your first time. Yeah, first time. First time, right. Now, uh, I, I rode him first time bitless. It's only about him. I rode many horses bitless, but right. uh, on him uh -huh. this was the first time. Good. So what do you think from now on about any horses? How do you I mean today's day uh, I'm sure it's uh, mind changing for you. Yeah, sure. Because sure. you never done it before. Yes. Sir, and this sure. is your own stallion. Yeah, sure. But you rode him bitless because I asked him to. I I told you, well, no problem, well, go well, for well. it. Sure. And we both we did it. We, we both did it. Yeah. And yeah, that easy. Easy. It was easy. easy. It was yeah. easy. Sure. So tell me how yeah, you yeah, think yeah. that you, you know this will change your future. Yeah, your surely, surely this will change my future with horses. Maybe I, I'll continue riding him bitless. I'll try to train him in an environment where he could be rode beatless mm -hmm. between horses, maybe in the places on roads, in traffic, mm -hmm. in a place where he's not been any time. I, I, I have to train him like that and I expect the same thing mm -hmm. from the foals which I, which I have from him and my nails. Mm -hmm. And maybe I'll try my best to train the future foals and him best ever I could. Good, good. That's what I want to hear. Um, another thing, what I what I hear about um, Kathiawari horses, yes. everybody I went to, they say they are hot tempered, they, they can't be controlled, you can't go close to them, and all this you know mythical stories. Yeah, surely these are What's mythical your stories. What's your thought on that? No, it, it's surely is a mythical story. You know, bonding up with the, any of those, not just Kathiawari or Marwari or. Please, on any horse, any living thing, you can bond up with them, you can do anything you want to do with them. There's nothing like being furious or being angry. It's just about how you train them, how you treat them, how you well take care of. It's nothing like uh, the Kachiwais are very much aggressive absolutely, and angry. Absolutely. And I, I, I'm a firm believer that, I mean, what you said is 100% true sure. and this is what should be done. Now, another thing when I, when I noticed, I, I'm sorry to bring this subject to you, you you put him in a corn bean. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know you probably have that, you know, belief that thorn bean could control him. Yeah, not actually that belief. I, I myself believe that thorn bean should not be used, but I use thorn bean just to control him over breeding. Okay. Over riding, I don't need a thorn bit. I have many photographs of mine riding him in plain bits, thick bits. I have some full bits. He's right. easily controllable in plain bits also. But the thing is, when he is used for breeding and he is new towards breeding, and the, and the energy, the hormonal changes he, he is experiencing because being in a cage since nine years and now newly introduced to the environment of breeding and all introducing himself to new mares and right. all he's just not actually getting it up and i'll try my level best to breed him in a way that i don't need a even a bit, even a bit yeah. wow. 
Uh, that's, that's exactly um, what I, I want to see in our forces in yeah, India. Surely. Uh, it, it is actually possible. It, it needs time. It needs a horse to understand us and we need time to understand the horses. It's not that much difficult and not that much easy too, but it takes time. It needs friendship, <coughs> harder love, everything. Good. So, you know, another thing, um, see, I don't want to get into politics about, you yeah. know, Marawari and Kachawari, yeah, yeah, because sure. that's not my subject, you know. What I want to explain to people, you know, is that young men like yourself, you know, yeah. you are 22 years old. Yeah, 22 years old. And, and I can see you have a lot of knowledge, you know, and you're brave, and, and you have this uh, energy, yeah. and, and very positive thinking, you know. Now, now other people, they're experienced, they've been with horses for all their life, but they keep their horses the way they used to be done for centuries you know, yeah, ago. Yeah. But the, the, the thing now, is, they are not aware of uh, you know society. They haven't seen anything like a, a, ho a horse with a, with a strainer following him, following him without a halter. They haven't seen anything. They haven't even tried it. So they're just following a typical method, method since the ancestors. Correct. What the actually previous owners, their ancestors, their, their knowledge, the same thing. Because they are not socialized, they don't know anything about behavior, they don't know anything about horses, they, they haven't understood them, they spend very few time with horses, and that's the main problem over here. Simple is that, I think what you're trying to get is that, um, you know, any horse can be uh, trained um, yeah, surely, and ridden and, and in, a, in, a, in a very safe yeah, manner and, um, in a, you know, without giving um, him any kind of pain, pain or, or stress or being anything. cruel to yeah, them, sure, right? Sure, yeah. Well, that's exactly what I want what I want people to know in India and um, young riders in India yeah, sure, and I sure. hope our new generation will uh, follow this the, footstep. Even we ourselves, our group over here who actually are aware of these things, we are spreading knowledge to people who are not aware of these things and and nowadays this thing is actually coming up to the culture that riding beatless, using plain beats, not harming the horses, not beating them, talking to the horses, frequently giving them time, everything. It's actually upcoming everywhere great, great. Right? because it's not possible to change every person's mind. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. I'm really happy that I, I saw your stallion. I had a chance to ride him. My whole trip, uh, I was a bit stressed because what I saw wasn't what I expecting. But yeah, sure. this is something definitely I'm very impressed with, you know. And thanks to you, and uh, thanks thank you. for your time. And I hope uh, that uh, I have a chance to ride him again. And sure, a lot sure. of most people. Welcome anytime you're free. When you feel you ride, you want to ride him, you are most welcome to play. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Nice meeting you. Great.